I'm at Marcotte, and we're taking this train behind me to Winter Park today. Let's go have some fun in the mountains and enjoy the ride. Let's go. Good morning, travelers. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, Union Station. Right up to the mountains today on Winter Park Express. Amtrak service for the skiers and snowboarders. Let's have a look around, enjoy some coffee, and see what this train station has to offer. Built in 1914, Denver's Union Station stands out in downtown Denver as one of the crown jewels of the city. Decorated with antique furniture and classical music playing, I felt like I was back in the 1950s. And if you happen to be staying downtown, stop in the Terminal Bar for a lively atmosphere and excellent drinks. Keep in mind, this Winter Park Express does not run year-round. It runs during the winter months, December to March, only on the weekends. There's our train down below. The Winter Park Express. Several more cars than I expected. I was only expecting like four train cars, but maybe they're expecting a lot of people today. Hey, this should be a gorgeous ride. Takes about two and a half hours, cut through the mountains, and then last but not least, you go through the Moffat Tunnel. This particular train opens up boarding 30 to 45 minutes prior to departure. You might be wondering the price of the tickets. A one way fare is typically $29 to $44, and kids are discounted rate. However, you cannot book rewards with your Amtrak points. Keep in mind the lift tickets are sold separately and the boards and skis ride for free. Little known fact when picking your seat, if you're only going up for the day, you can leave your stuff in your seat and board the train and get, up, get back in the same spot. And I highly recommend that you book your return ahead of time. See this train adjacent to us? Do not, do not book this train. This is the California Zephyr. It does not stop at Winter Park Resort. It stops in Fraser. The other side of town. Still not a bad thing, but this train we're on stops at the resort. The journey will take us about two hours, ending with a six and a half mile tunnel called the Moffat Tunnel under the Continental Divide. We will go through 31 tunnels along this journey. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now going by igneous granite, the hardest stone on the entire North American continent, formed deep in the crust of the earth when this rock was in a molten form. And then as it uplifted, it crystallized the, uh, the 
After showing you the front and the back of the train, it was time to go get a drink and a snack. However, the line was still kind of long, but nothing like before. This cafe car had an abbreviated menu compared to the rest of Amtrak services. And then you guessed it, it was bathroom check time. Before we arrived, I noticed there was a big bathroom, little bathroom, and even a mother station as well down that hallway. Time flies when you're having fun. It seemed like before long, poof, we were there. I'd say one of my last and important tips, make sure to have your ski boots, snow boots, everything on and ready to go before you get out of the Moffat Tunnel. Welcome to Winter Park. That behind me is the six and a half mile long tunnel, Moffat Tunnel, crosses the Continental Divide. It is the last landmark before you arrive at Winter Park Resort. And if you see behind me, that's where the train lets off. So if you're looking to ski for the day, this is it. If you like, hit that subscribe button, 